I'm going to ask help from you guys. Financial help. Like, actual financial help right Why now. Why does he need financial help? He's a full-time YouTuber. He has hundreds of thousands of subscribers. How does he have- how does he have no money? How is he broke? I don't understand. Why is he begging for money? Does he not have money? I don't get it. And basically, I need enough money to last about a month. Right? So in total, maybe about 10 grand. He needs 10- wait, he needs 10 grand for one month? What? What? 10 grand for one month? I'm sorry, how did I not catch this first time I watched this? 10 grand? Did you hear Brad Taste had another breakdown on a stream where he suddenly said he's not saving his own house, started crying and blamed his girlfriend for turning his friends against him? I think I saw a post about that in the YouTube drama subreddit, but I can't find it. Where is the um the latest meltdown? Is that on YouTube anywhere? Brad Taste and Music begs for 10k after not paying his editor. <clears throat> what is up, you guys? Bradley here of uh, Brad Taste and Music Enterprises. Uh, and I, of course, am talking to you about the most recent video, which I just removed off my channel, uh, which was reacting to the new Mori Calliope album. I was very proud of What the fuck is Mori video. Calliope? What is that? This? What is this? Mori Calliope. Oh, it's a VTuber. I thought it was some kind of African person. Original song. That's not made for me. That's all I'll say about that. It's just not made for me. <laughs> that's not made for me. The only song that's kind of like that, that has like the Japanese vocals that I like, is um. there's a Bring Me the Horizon song ugh, called King Slayer. We can't play the whole thing on stream, but I can play some of it. This song is fucking awesome. It's really good. The Japanese vocals, they work, okay? It's uh, baby metal. This part's good. All the screaming is good. This is fire. This is good. Oh yeah, here. This is good. This is good. This is good. Japanese metal band I like is um Maximum the Hormone. They're good. That is good. Uh, I don't know what that VTuber thing was. Not really my thing. Maybe I just didn't give it enough of a chance, but not really my thing personally. Cops and Talks 1, true. Oh wait, there is one more thing I like that's like that. Um, The fucking... I don't really know what this anime is about. I can't comment on the visuals of this. Um, You know, these anime girls. I don't know if there's something weird going on here, but this uh mashup is pretty good. I like this. This is good. Uh, okay, so he was reacting to a VTuber. All right. I thought it was fantastic, um, but I removed the video because the person in the video, let's just say, was really hurting my mental health. What is he talking? Is he like talking about the editor? Is the editor hurting his mental health? Who is hurting? Is it who was in this video with him? I need to figure this out. Is there a re-upload of this somewhere? Brad Taste, Mori Cal Cal Mori Calliope. These are old videos. Was it this video? When is this from? It must have been this, right? What's up, you guys? So my name is Bradley. I, I have a Brad Taste to me. Let's say uh, overkill. The f yeah, so. like this, where it's a lot more melodic and like proper it sounds so is it this good. voice who is that who the fuck is he talking about who is affecting his mental health negatively i don't understand viciously so i figured no more of that shit so uh yeah it's a great video but uh let me just put it like this i need to stop making friends audio online is the audio out of sync i think the camera quality is just too good for you to understand heard you've been gooning lately lost your edging streak looks like you need a little reminder buddy stop gooning with my new merch We've got premium materials, high quality embroidery, esoteric designs. What more could you ask for? Bye -bye. What's that? You need a hat to keep your sensitive widow eyes out of the sun? Good thing I thought of that. And if you ever forget how to put together a Nerf blaster, just read the instructions on your brimmy brim. Please buy it! TurkeyTom.shop! Please! TurkeyTom.shop! Please! Stop gooning today at TurkeyTom. Dot shop. Stop gooning at turkeytom.shop. Edge forever. Limited quantities available. Get it now before it's gone forever. If you don't buy it, I'm gonna commit a crime. I might commit a crime anyway. Please fund the crime I want to commit with my merch sales. I'm going to commit a crime because of the merch sales. If you buy this hat, if you buy this shirt, I will use the money that I get from it to commit a heinous crime. Is what I would say if I was going to do that. But I'm not. So um, what's going to happen now is there's going to be a lot less chat interaction, but I love music. I just really hate that I 
am like super mentally ill and I and, and, and anyone has access to the ability to talk to me. So here's what we're gonna do. Can you give a shout out to Jim Woodring? Shout out to your mom's pussy. Uh baby metal slaps harder than my dad. So true. We can <laughs> we can resume this Brad Taste video now, I assume, in fine quality. Um hopefully that doesn't happen again. <clears throat> what is up, you guys? Bradley here of uh, Brad Taste and Music Enterprises. Uh, and I, of course, am talking to you about the most recent video, which I just removed off my channel, uh, which was reacting to the new Mori Calliope album. I was very proud of this video. I thought it was fantastic. Um, but I removed the video because the person in the video, let's just say, was really hurting my mental health. And like, okay, Can, does anybody in chat know who is hurting his mental health? Who the fuck is hurting his mental health? Who is who is hurting his mental health? Who is Maury Calliope hurting his mental health? Uh, why, also, why is why is someone in his YouTube video like affecting his mental health that much? This guy, listen, man, I made this tweet about Brad. Like, I made this tweet about Brad not uh, not that long ago because I keep seeing shit like this from him, man. And I, I had a conversation about how you know the one combo I had with him was like just stop fucking responding to retards online. Uh, but I said I hope Brad Taste gets a therapist, and whatever else he needs. I feel like I'm watching him melt in real time. And this is this is not even like ironic. Like every time every time I see him existing out in the world, I feel like he needs to log off and get a therapist or something. Like he's not he's not doing well. He needs like some serious help from someone. I don't know where he's gonna get it, but probably a therapist. Drugs is the answer. Yeah, drugs would be good. He's disabled, true. But people say this like so. I had this response that said people must take him as being mentally ill, falling apart. When the reality is just really cringe. I I feel like if you say something like this, you probably haven't seen enough about Brad Taste because he is clearly like he's clearly mentally unwell. And we'll see more of this as we go on because there is more updates to Brad. But um, like there, I feel like I can see his like mental state withering in real time every time I see him talk. And it's getting worse and worse, too, as, like, he can't deal with criticism he's getting. Viciously. So, I figured... <laughs> They're canceling, canceling you! True. <laughs> no more of that shit. So, uh, yeah. It's a great video, but... Uh, let me just put it like this. I need to stop making friends online. So, um, what's gonna happen now is there's gonna be a lot less chat interaction. <laughs> But I love music. I so as far as not making friends online anymore, I believe this is in reference to the editor who claimed that he scammed them. And then he kind of was able to show like he didn't scam them. But his explanation was like, I'm disabled. And then he sent them the money that they were owed or something. It was it was just like once again, like a totally like terminally online drama. They didn't even need to happen. I feel like most of his dramas didn't even need to happen. It's like something that he brings on by himself, you know, which I guess is the case for any drama. But. Well, this in particular was just like so, it was so un unnecessary, you know what I'm saying? I hate that I am like super mentally ill and I, and, and, and anyone has access to the ability to talk to me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask help from you guys. Financial help, like actual financial help right now. Um, you can uh, add super uh, request things to the bottom. I can also link my PayPal. But right now, I need enough money to support my family. Wait. Why is he? Why is he asking for money? Why is he e-begging? Why is he e-begging? Put this towards Brad's dad or more lunchables. Either way, money well spent. Thanks. Why? Why is he asking for money? Doesn't he make money on YouTube? What is Brad taste in music? This video didn't get copyright claims. He cuts around the songs enough that he won't get claimed. I think. Vocal performance can't save it. Is it's not like he's getting copyright claimed, right? That's why they're edited to the degree they are. He ha he has money, right? What what is it? What are his view stats at? Brad Taste. What is his channel URL? Brad Taste and Music Official in Music Official. Okay. Um, what's he getting? He got almost. He got eight million. Wait, in the past thirty days, he got eight million channel views. That's like tens of thousands of dollars. Why is he asking? Why is he asking for ten grand? Is every video he makes copyright claimed or something? I'm just missing it because usually when a video is claimed, you'll see it in the description, right? Like, why the fuck is he e begging? Like, usually if you okay, so let's say you see like a video that has a claim on it, right? Like, um, despite the fact that I commissioned a cover, the Data Remembers label claimed one of my, um, one of the covers that I commissioned. Uh, if I look at that, I'm pretty sure you can see the claim in the description. Yes, yeah, so like if you see here, okay, because it got claimed, you have Second Sucks listed down here. That's the song that got claimed. The other ones didn't get claimed. This one got claimed even though it's a cover, right? Because the, the bot picked up the um, melody or maybe it was a manual claim. Somebody looked up Second Sucks on YouTube and claimed it. But regardless, it got claimed. His videos don't seem to have that in the description, right? Victory Royale. Yeah, Fortnite was about to get down. Okay, here, this one did get claimed, it looks like. Do all his videos get claimed? That was This is a year-old video. Maybe he's gotten better at it since then. Let's see. Maury Calliope, Self-Resurrection, whatever album. 
songs. This one did get claimed. Okay, so maybe he isn't making a lot of money from ad revenue. Does he make? He must make money from streams, though, right? Like he must make a decent amount of money from donos if he's streaming all the time. Does he have a Patreon? He has a Patreon, right? Brad Taste Patreon. Oh, okay. He's not making money on Patreon. He does song request streams and Brad about making 400k in a year just from that. What the fuck? That's a lot of money for listening to music on stream. Wait, why? Wait, why is he asking for 10 grand then? Where'd all his money go? That's a good way of putting it. It's clean. It's like. It's it's just very consistent throughout. Like he he and literally I, sits on stream and just reviews. He listens to music and like gives his opinion on it. Why is he asking for money? And basically, I need enough money to last about a month, right? So in total, maybe about ten grand with my family and moving and uh, closing off leases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's like the minimum, right? Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm figuring out a system with. Uh, and again, I don't want to name any people who I'm working with in case like. Hey, so how come stream bots aren't uploaded in the members tab? I'm pretty sure they are. There was one recently I had to wipe because there was uh, there was some content that we had to. I, I accidentally clicked into something on stream that I shouldn't have clicked into, but I think apart from that, all of them are there yeah there's the latest one from just a few days ago is still there there's one stream that didn't um that didn't stay up because there was stuff in it um but yeah the others are all are all in the members tab <laughs> my name because people are just saying horrible shit. but working with good people um and we're basically going to be making everything a lot cleaner <clears throat> the live stream totally revamp uh, just visually so it's going to look a lot more professional um, will the VOD be a, with if any content be edited and uploaded? Miss that one. Um, we could probably do that. Yeah, hold on, I'll make a note about that. Yeah, I made a note. We'll do that. Chat is. I I plan on not interacting with any chat because honest to God, like fuck that. I want to listen to music. I'm so fucking sick of anyone being able to talk to me. Like like actually, just imagine. So normally, I would just call someone a pussy for this. Okay, and I think Brad is. I don't know. Being a little cringe right now with this. Well, that's a crazy face. He looks like a fucking goblin there, but. Um, I, I would just call him a pussy, but I will say, I don't think that this guy can exist online without deleting Chad and not being able to see it. Cause he like, he'll lose his mind, dude. He'll absolutely lose his fucking mind. That's okay. Fuck that. I want to listen to music. Like he'll, he'll actually lose his, he'll, he'll absolutely lose his mind because the, the thing is for someone like this who cannot handle like a slight amount of criticism, like it will torture his entire career. I don't really know what the point of streaming is. I, I, I. I don't really know what the point of streaming is if, uh, <laughs> is it out of, you're kidding, is it actually out of sync again? I'm actually gonna blow my fucking brains out. Okay, I think it's good. I need to get something to break, like, ready. I need to find something that I can break. Uh, all right, I don't care about this. I bought this iPad for $200 a while ago and I haven't even turned it on, so. Um, if it doesn't work, if the audio is out of sync, I'm going to, I'm gonna smash this thing over my, over my fucking head or my knee on stream or something, okay? I swear, I swear. This perfectly new, brand new iPad that I've never turned on, I will fucking destroy. I will fucking destroy it, okay? I will break the fuck out of it. I'm like, I have very little, uh, patience right now, okay? I have very little patience, so this better fucking work! This better fucking work! And I'm not listening to chat. I'm literally only gonna trust my own judgment. I don't trust any of you, okay? All right, Brad Taste Drama, let's go. <clears throat> what is up, guys? Bradley here of uh, Brad Taste and Music Enterprises. Uh, and I, of course, am talking to you about the most recent video, which I just removed off my channel, uh, which was reacting to the new Mori Calliope album. I was very proud of this video. I thought it was fantastic. Um, but I removed the video because the person in the video, let's just say, was really hurting my mental health and, like, viciously. So I figured no more of that shit. So, uh, yeah. It's a great video. Stop saying rip iPad. Is it out of sync? I swear to, f I swear to fucking God. It's not me. I swear to fucking God. You people want me to break it so bad. I will crash out. I will crash out in this stream. I will literally crash out in this stream. I swear. Something terrible is going to happen. You guys don't even want to know what's going to happen, okay? <laughs> I'm, 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 I will, I will destroy that fucking iPad. I will destroy that iPad. I'm so fucking pissed. Oh, but, uh, th let me just put it like this. I need to stop making friends online. So, um, what's going to happen now is there's going to be a lot less chat interaction, but I love music. I just really hate that. I am like, all right, I need to temper this by saying that, um, I need to temper this by saying that I'm really mad right now because the fucking stream audio was delayed and I'm freaking the fuck out and I, when something doesn't go my way, I want to fucking put my head through the fucking wall, but fuck this guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I can't be nice to you anymore, Brad. Okay. Like, I, I know he's a really mentally ill person. I know he needs help. Okay. I get it. I get it. He's disabled or whatever, but like, bro, bro, you're a fucking streamer. Okay. You're a fucking streamer. You, your life is reacting to music, okay? Reacting to music you did not make and getting to make money off of it. What? 
Why are you complaining about this? Go, go get a therapist or something. Go get it. Go get a therapist or something. Seriously. The thing is, I, I genuinely do believe that he is mentally ill to the point that he cannot handle people in chat being mean to him. But like, bro, chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. It doesn't matter. Just stop. Stop complaining about it. You don't need to tell stream about everything. For mentally ill and I and, and, and anyone has access to the ability to talk to me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask help from you guys. Financial help. Like actual financial help right why now. does he need financial help he's a full-time youtuber he has hundreds of thousands of subscribers how does he have how does he have no money how is he broke i don't understand why is he begging for money does he not have money i don't get it he has gambling problems does he he has a bread taste is a gambling problem has he ever talked about this publicly i I don't think that's even true. He has a gambling problem. I'm not, this is the first I'm hearing this. This is this is the first I'm hearing this ever. I think that's misinformation. Okay, I honestly think it is. Um, you can uh, add super uh, request things to the bottom. I can also link my PayPal. But right now, I need enough money to support my family, and basically, I need enough money to last about a month. Right. So in total, maybe about ten grand. He needs ten. Wait, he needs ten grand for one month. What? Ten grand for one month? What? 10 grand for one month? I'm sorry. How did I not cash this first time I watched this? 10 grand? I make way more. Listen, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to get too braggadocious here. I make a lot more money than Brad. Okay. I can say that confidently. And I also own a fucking house. My expenses for a month are not 10 grand for me personally. 10 grand? Is his, entire, is his mom living with him? Is his dad and his four Somalian children living with him? How does it cost 10 grand to exist? Dude, I feel like the average person should easily, should easily be able to exist monthly off of, I'll be generous as fuck here, like fucking, like 2,500 a month. You should be able to exist off of that. Come on, 10 grand a month? 10 grand a fucking month? There's no way. There's no way. What is he spending his money on? Mafia debt? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. With my family and moving and uh, closing off leases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like... His the family minimum. moving, right. closing off leases. You, you need 10 grand to close your lease? Are you moving your entire family? Are you moving your dad and your mom in with you? Why is he doing this? $10,000 for one? Does it, it doesn't cost 10 grand to move. Just don't move then. Just wait. Don't move yet. Do you have 100 a month could support a family pretty well with proper, to budget, with proper budgeting? You still have nice things? I mean, yeah. 10 grand a month is insane. It's insane. It's, in, it's complete insanity. Where does Brad Taste live? I mean, even if you live in California, you shouldn't be paying that much. I have no idea. United States. I have no idea. 10 grand is so much money though. 10 grand a month. I'm trying to think of what my personal monthly expenses are. Let me try to total this up. Uh, my mortgage is like 2,400 a month. Uh, groceries a month are probably another, um, let me think. I've been shopping once a week, probably get like a hundred, maybe a hundred dollars flat in groceries. We'll be a little aggressive. We'll say 500 in groceries a month, 2,900 plus car insurance monthly. Um, what is my car insurance? I think I pay, I think I'm, I think my car insurance is kind of expensive because of the Audi and because a few years ago I backed into a Jeep. So I want to say like, we've got 200 a month for car insurance. We'll go crazy. Okay. Plus what else is there? I guess there's like electricity is, I think my electricity is like maybe, maybe 50, maybe 50 to 80 bucks a month. I want to say you can kind of compound that all with like internet, everything else. If you add that all up, it's probably like 35. And that even is like, you know, I don't need to have a house. You don't have to have a house. Like that's not necessary at all. How the fuck is he how the fuck is he spending that much? 10k a month? This is this is girlfriend out of a job or something? Electricity um, is low. I actually don't know what my electricity costs cuz I don't look at it. Uh average cost of electricity in Maine. Uh like 217 per month, okay. It's probably around there then. I honestly don't even know. I don't look uh, I look when the bill comes in and then I forget doing right now is I'm figuring out a system with uh, and again I don't want to name any people who I'm working with in case like because again like my name is people are just saying horrible shit. But working with good people um, and we're basically going to be making everything a lot cleaner <clears throat> The live stream totally also revamped. does he have no savings? He, he's had his YouTube channel for years, right? Like he's been doing it full-time for how long? I think it's been at least a couple of years, right? Two, three years. Does he have no savings? Has he never put money in the bank? I feel like he should have like, geez, I don't know, like 100K in the bank at least. If he's doing these streams and he's got like ad revenue from videos, which I think some of the videos do get claimed. I don't think every single video gets copyright claimed up the ass, right? Even if they do, if he's making $400 an hour on stream, that's more than enough to make it. Why is, why is he asking people for money? I don't understand. Uh, just visually? So it's gonna look. Haven't I heard him bragging perfect. about making like a like buckets and buckets of money? Like last year, I think I thought I thought I saw some clip of him bragging about making a ton of money. I could be wrong. Um, chat is. I I plan on not interacting with any chat because honest to God, like fuck that. 
I want to listen to music. I'm so fucking sick of anyone being able to talk to me. Listen, like, this I think this is cringe as fuck to complain about. Okay, like you're uh, you're a streamer. Is is the video actually out of sync? I swear to fucking god, dude. You're a streamer. Fuck that. I want to listen to music. I'm so fucking. Sick. I said I would do it. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Let me put this so everyone can see. Okay, my fucking anger at this shit. Okay, there's there's no. <laughs> It's gotta go! It's gotta go! There's no choice. I don't have a choice, frankly, in the matter. It's it's what uh, it's what the world wants me to do, okay? It's what the world wants me to do. It's my moral obligation, in my opinion, to do this, so whatever. How can I set up a camera so it's the funniest fucking angle possible? What the fuck? <laughs> fucking... Build my fucking Red Bull. Fuck that. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, wow. That thing's wrecked. Damn. Wow. Fucking A. Ugh. I said it would happen. <laughs> all right. Oh, I still have a Zim left. It was the nicotine high that made me do it. I wasn't mad at all. I wasn't mad at all. No, oh, there's fucking, bro, there's like a crazy amount of like fragments of glass all over the floor. Uh, whatever. I wonder what this was. Whatever. Ugh. What the fuck do I do? About the Addison, I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Mr. Beast made me do it. Mr. Beast made me gay. Fuck you, Mr. Beast. I think I understand how Brad went so broke. I think I actually understand how he went so broke. I think that essentially what happened, I mean, this is just my opinion, I could be wrong, but I, I think that essentially what happened is he realized that it's really fun to break electronics and he started doing it. If you're can of Red Bull, thanks. Yeah, I think he realized that it sucks, that not being able to break electronics all the time sucks. I think that's what he realized, frankly. Oh, Tom, I love edging to you. Like how I edged a skibbity toilet. Anyways, have a chorus banquet on me. Enjoy, my friend. I'm not going to buy a chorus, but thanks for the dono. All right, I want to keep watching this video. Uh, if the audio is out of sync again, maybe I'll just find something else to break. <laughs> <coughs> Let's keep watching. Holy shit. Like, actually, just imagine that. Just imagine I don't have to anyone. Imagine it. That's my life. My life is people in chat shitting on me. It doesn't matter. Fucking sick of anyone being able to talk to me. Like, like actually, just imagine that. Just imagine anyone in the world being able to say anything to you at any point, and you have to just sit there and accept that. Like, look, man, I think that a lot of people maybe would not be able to handle the live streaming job because of that. We've seen a lot of crash outs, okay? We've seen a lot of crash outs publicly from streamers who cannot handle the criticism, okay? We've seen a lot of streamers even uh, break iPads on stream because they can't handle the fact that, uh, they can't handle the fact that their audio and OBS is out of sync and it makes them freak the fuck out. Hey, I understand it, man. I understand it. Listen. But at the same time, just like you, it, you're, you're, you have one of the easiest jobs in the world, Brad. Okay. And I would encourage you to remember this. Okay. You have one of the easiest jobs in the world where you get to sit on a live stream and listen to music that other people worked, uh, worked at, slaved over tirelessly hour after hour, day after day. Okay. Minute after minute, year after year, they slaved away to create this art. And what you get to do is you get to sit on your live stream on your ass. Okay. Your lazy job where you get to smoke weed all day and basically be a fucking pig. And you get to sit around and watch that and react to it and be like, this is good, this is not good, okay? Like, you have one of the easiest, most coveted jobs in the world. And I understand you have mental health issues, and you should probably see a therapist and maybe get medicated for that. I don't know what you need, frankly. I don't know what you need, but uh, just this this like level of whining and complaining is it's just like, put put a little put a little perspective in there, okay? Before before you like say stuff like this on live stream, like put, put yourself in perspective and realize to the average person how you know, out of touch this is going to be, okay? To anyone, to anyone who's like working in like an Amazon warehouse, anybody who's doing, look, you, you can you can list off endless, endless examples of jobs that people have that are like infinitely harder, more physically taxing than this. And if Brad was in their position, he would, he would cut off his left nut to get it, right? He would. The average person does not want to hear you complain about this shit, especially, but why are you asking for $10,000? You're a YouTuber with 400,000 subscribers. Like what, why are you asking for 10 grand? How do you not... How do you not have like emergency expenses for shit like this? Why are you asking your audience? I don't understand. Fuck that. So fuck that, okay? I wanna listen to music and I wanna get paid so I can feed my family, so I can live a nice life, so I can make some friends. I mean, some like, wonderful even, people even, now. Even like the way he's saying this, he's like, I wanna, I'm gonna fix the camera, hold on. <laughs>
he's like, I just want to be able to have the easiest job ever and make friends and not worry about anything. And I need 10 grand. Chud taste in music. That'd be awesome. But yeah, like this is this. It, the problem is not chat. The, the problem is not that people in chat are mad to, are mad at him or being mean to him or something. The The problem is that he, he can't handle it. He, he is not mentally stable enough to handle the repercussions of people being mean to him on YouTube chat. Like it's nothing. Like YouTubers are, you know, I, I don't have a problem with it, but YouTubers for like the work they do relative to, you know, what they provide and whatever the skills they have are like grossly overpaid. And I don't have a problem with it. I'm not gonna complain about it. I think it's fine. And technically the market dictates what we get paid. So, um, you know, YouTube exists, they serve ads in our videos, therefore we get a certain amount of money, therefore that is the amount we deserve to get paid. And, you know, in a literal sense, that is it. But hearing someone complain about it, like they deserve it, like it's like owed to them, like they deserve to make that fucking much money. Sitting on stream and listening to Imagine Dragons and Limp Bizkit and being like, this is not good. Like, <sighs> nobody wants to hear that, bro. Who I care more about than oh, any sure of this. Client. Yeah, well, that's where it started. But I think that uh, these problems with Brad probably existed far before this. I think this that was just the moment when people realized it, right? That, that can't have been, because like, the, the Ethan Klein thing and how that went is a reflection of who Brad is and his cowardice. Internet shit. Okay, so right now, let's let's focus on getting some music things done. I do need your help as a community. I do need financial help in order to make it. All right? So I am asking. But what I am offering you, okay? You see that intro video, that beautiful intro video? I want to make stuff like that. You know? Things that are expressive. Things that are fun. That are like, uh, this is what I have to offer. And I... I like the best thing ever to me would be if someone could like pay me to make a video on a single but song. The, like you could do that. You realize that, Brad? Like you're a YouTuber. You can decide what people will pay you for. Like you can you can make a video about a single song and make it really good. That's what Todd in the Shadows does. What Todd in the Shadows does is he, you know, he's a music reviewer. I think he was on Channel Awesome back in the day. He's like a review guy. And what he does is he just picks a song that he thinks is interesting, like a one hit wonder or a song he really likes or whatever. And he reviews it and he talks about it and he gives his commentary on it. Like, that's what he does. Like, Brad, you can choose to do that. You don't need $10,000 from your audience to do that. You can just do it. Being a YouTuber is so, like, you just need a camera and a fucking computer and you can do it. You don't even need a camera. You can use an iPhone. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not that difficult, Brad. Look up MH. Uh, I'll look that up, sure. And I can just spend the whole day filming and listening and like trying to think of just ways I could record things of like stuff that this song inspires me from. Can you imagine if like I could just like branch out? You can out, do that now. Can you imagine? You you can you can do that right now. You can do that right now. No one is stopping you that from no no one is stopping you from doing that. You can make whatever content you want. And if people like it and watch it, you'll get paid for it. Like you, you can literally decide that's what being a YouTuber is. Tomorrow, if I want, I can make a video about Skibbity Toilet and the lore. And if it's a good video, it'll do well and people will watch it and I'll make money off of it. Like it's, it, I, I don't understand. Like he literally is subsisting right now off of like the lowest effort kind of content, which I also do. It's not the only thing I do, but I also do it. Okay. I'm live streaming. I'm reacting to what he's saying. Like that's the lowest effort kind of thing you can probably do online in terms of like sheer skill needed. And like you can do it. Anyone can do it. You're doing it. That's fine. Make money off it. But like if you want to do other stuff, you can also do that. Nobody's stopping you from doing that. Not a single person. But like financially do that in a way that doesn't require me to be in front of a bunch of strangers all the time. Like that's what I want to do. It doesn't require you to be in front of strangers result. all the time. That's what that's what YouTube is. That's what YouTube is. You post content so the audience can watch it. Like that's what your job is. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. What are you complaining about? Just do it. And me being the happiest and the healthiest and you guys getting the best content. So, um, love you. Thanks for All listening. Right, we have another Brad Appreciate clip people want me to watch. Let's see this. I, I under no circumstance can listen to this album right now because I am not safe in my own home and I really can't describe much else. What? What? Is the CIA coming after him? What the... What is, is he okay? He's not safe in his own home. Is he like is he like schizophrenic? Is there did someone break into his house? Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> Wait, it's not even out of sync. That even mean? Let's see this. And I really can't describe much. And I really can't describe much else. What does that mean? Wait, run it back. Circumstance can listen to this album right now because I am not safe in my own home, and I really can't describe what is else. happening to him. Bart maxing based. What what is what is actually wrong with him though? Does he have schizophrenia? He's not safe in his own house. What what is happening to him? What is happening to Brad Taste? Reddit ruined my life. What is this? What's up, you guys? So this is an important video. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys basically that I was roasting a turkey yesterday, right? And so when you roast a turkey, it's got to be like in the oven for like two hours. Roasting or a turkey, right? yo chill out i just had two beers i feel safe in my own home <laughs> yeah i mean that'll make, make you feel pretty safe comfy well, vibe. i didn't understand this so i put a stick through it all right and it didn't fit in the oven so i had to take the stick out and then i had to take out the stuffing 
Uh, but when I eventually put it in the oven, it was all good. Uh, to anybody who is basically slowing me down from making mental health progress, uh, slowing down me donating the charity, making it right with people, uh, getting offline and interacting with friends, uh, if you're one of the people who is stopping me from doing this and also telling me um, that it's for my own good, What is he talking you. about? Is this guy like a paranoid schizophrenic? Fuck you. If you're a subscriber, unsubscribe, leave a comment, and I'll happily hide you from the channel. Genuinely, you guys are some of the worst fucking people I've ever met, and I'm glad that I'm going to stop making friends on the internet. Because genuinely, I don't want anything to do with like 99% like of you Who is guys. he talking about? What is he talking about? Are there people in his chat that are preventing him from being ha happy or having friends? <laughs> Feckless and Keckless in chat says, I've been stalking him for the past four months and stopping him. He's perfectly sane base. But what is actually wrong with him? Is he, he seems like he's like tweaking. He's talking about his wife. Does he have a wife? I didn't think he had a wife. I knew he was going to delete this. It's genuinely depressing seeing the drastic downfall of this man for three or four years watching his content. He needs help. Been around since 50 to 60k, he's completely lost it. He reacted badly to deleted meltdown vids four to five years ago, but these are new level. He's as toxic as his worst fans. He has such a victim complex and can't have any shame and own up to his mistakes and move on. Any little issue becomes hell for him and he finds a way to turn it into a weeks long drama. Most of the stuff wouldn't affect nearly any other YouTuber. He's spineless. It's not just spineless. He seems like he's super mentally ill. I think he needs serious professional help. Please cover the stuttering John stuff. My good friend Cardiff Electric knows all and is skibbity. Have you seen this tarred Aaron? I don't care about that right now. What is actually wrong with them? Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they aren't out to get you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he needs to hear right now. What is wrong with them though? No, oh, we have Rose Malay commenting on it too. Actually hilarious how I'm expected to do everything right and he still blocks me after making a mature taking accountability video. Meanwhile, he does all this shit. Well, thank you, Rose Malay, for chiming in. What is what is actually going on with him? Advice to Brad. Advice for Brad to make progress for mental health quit. I mean, he, he definitely needs to take a break and like, I feel like he needs a normal job. It doesn't seem like he can handle like public backlash or whatever to me. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. My name is Ocean Lemon. You can call me Jay. We're back with another drama video type video of some of my hair. It's actually looking kind of nice today. I think so. Is my hair looking good? Comment down below. But anyways, today we're a little bit into a drama video. Now this drama video that I'm going to be talking about, or the drama that I'm going to be talking about, it's very small, but it's something that just caught my attention that I feel like I should talk about concerned. I'm kind of in the same situation as this person that's in the drama a little bit, not fully, obviously. Um, but the drama is surrounding a YouTuber by the name of Brad or Brad Taste and Music. Now, I recently found out about his channel a few days ago, literally, I think two days ago. Um, I saw that he did a reaction video to Not Like Us and I watched it. Um, and that's the first time I've ever seen this dude or heard of this dude or whatever. I know and the audio is out of sync. I can't I fix it right now. I just smashed the iPad over it, okay? There's there's nothing I can do about it right now. There's literally nothing I can do about it. How bad is it out of sync? We'll find out right now. A few days ago, literally yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. You're just going to have to deal with it. Went back and looked at some of his other videos, you know, his reactions to Taylor Swift songs and, you know, stuff that I have interest in. And he doesn't seem like... If anybody knows what the problem dude. is with OBS, tell me, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. I don't know. I tried it 15 times. Uh, You know, he doesn't seem like the world's nicest guy, obviously. He doesn't seem like a total jackass, though, but he doesn't seem like, you know... He always gets in a lot of arguments, I would say, with his chat and stuff like that. And recently, actually, right now, he's in a big drama right now because... I feel like arguing with chat is not a problem. I argue with chat all the time. It's fun. Arguing with chat is fucking awesome. When you're a live streamer, that's part of what makes streaming interesting. Like, that's... Interacting with chat is really fun. That's why I, like, watch, like, people like Destiny because he argues a lot with chat, with different people. Like, watching the drama happen is fun. The problem is when, like, it emotionally destroys you and you take it really personally and, like, you can't handle it. I argue with chat all the time. I sleep like a baby. And that's not because I'm, like, a badass. It just... It shouldn't bother you that much. Like, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's whatever. He was essentially had a mental breakdown on video or on stream or whatever, and he deleted the stream or video and he was very upset about it because he thought the video was really good, but he had a bit of like a mental breakdown. He was, I guess, like having some sort of confrontation with the chat or something like that. I don't really know fully, um, but this caused a lot of discussion and a lot of people started talking about it. And he even made a follow up video, a little snippet from a stream or whatever that I will be showing you, uh, where he basically talks about uh, that mental breakdown and says that he's very mentally ill right now and not in a good place. And that he needs money. I just don't understand why. I, I, I still, I'm, I'm like scratching my head at the money thing. Like if you have 400k subs on YouTube and you've been a full-time YouTuber for like two, three years, four years, you have to have spent your money so recklessly to not have any money, to not have 10 grand, right? 
Like, it, like, I, where the fuck is his money going? He's got to have some kind of like debilitating problem with spending. I think Brad's paranoid because he went to a Diddy party and his FBI is coming for him based. But seriously, like, it's a lot of that's like 10 grand is a lot of money. But like, as a YouTuber with that big of an audience, you should have 10K in the bank. Maybe he lost it all. Like, how? On what? How did he lose it all? On In, in what way? <sighs> Seriously, where did where the fuck did it go? There we go. Uh, a little fucked up. Fix the fucking camera, chat. Holy shit. But like, where where did it go? Actually, where did it go? Where did the ten thousand dollars? He should have. He should have like fifty to hundred k. Like he should have so much more money. It's the ass. He realized some drugs and he went to that, but it, it was weed, right? Weed isn't that expensive. Can you spend ten grand on weed in like one or two months? I don't think you can. That's wouldn't that be like drug dealer levels of like weed? Like if you have that much weed, you got to be like selling it, right? Like that's so much. It says subscribers for money, which I don't think is a bad thing, obviously. In OBS, check it, the PFG uh, settings and dynamic memory and uncheck slide. That might help. PFG settings and dynamic memory. Where the fuck is that? What tab is that under, Frank? Literally, if you watch the last few of my videos, I've shouted out my Patreon where you can go buy a membership or something to help me out financially. Um, if you want to help out this channel concerning YouTube demonetize me until, you know, October 30th. Uh, but I don't really think asking, you know, your subscribers for money, if you do it the right way, obviously, is a bad thing. Now, if you scam right. them, that's a bad thing. If you... Does Chud Logic have some good, some good uh, info? The lag, is good. <coughs> the lag is because of outages? I don't think it is because when I see it in OBS, it's fine, right? Like when I see it in OBS, it's perfectly in sync. But when it goes out to the stream, it's not in sync. Like because I have an OBS view of the stream right now and I can see it. New meltdown. Oh, I got, I got most of those clips in the last one, I think. I already watched that one. <laughs> Uh, is there something new? I already watched the whole editor drama. I watched that clip. Is there anything new at all? It doesn't look like it. I don't think he has more clips than I had. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Tom's out of sync? No way. I'm not! You fucking liar! Who said that? Who said that? Fuck, if I could find you right now, I'd ban the fuck out of you. I would ban your fucking life. I would ban your life from existing. I would destroy you. I would destroy your fucking life. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know the audio of the video is out of sync, but um, the, the desktop's out of sync, but I'm not out of sync. I know that. Brad has no spine. He said he didn't like the new 21 Pilots album and his fans got mad, so he said, no, actually, I like it, guys. Why? It's over a music take? Isn't it totally... Do people... I guess people do get that mad about music, actually. People freak the fuck out. Damn. I don't know. Brad seems like he seems serious. He, ne he needs serious mental health. I don't... Hey, mental help. Brad seems like he seems... Brad seems like he needs serious mental help. I don't know how he's going to get that, but clearly he's having a hard time existing right now.